This is a prayer that I wrote on Saturday, August 27, 2016, from my heart to the body. Father, prepare our hearts. Go before us and lead us as we worship and learn on your beautiful, set-apart, holy day. Pour out your spirit of life as we come together. Father, build us up higher, stronger, more faithful, and give us your strength. Renew our minds so we can make room for more revelation. I pray that we will find ways to use the testimonies that are on our lips to share the love of Messiah through our cities and in our families. We acknowledge the Great Commission. We only desire to be your humble servants. So open doors that we can serve. We are vessels in righteousness, and we want to accomplish what you would have us to do and hear you say, I am pleased. Help us to remember to wait on you before we act. Help us to prioritize our lives to make the provisions and time necessary to get quiet and still and hear your voice. Father, help us when we become overwhelmed with the fast-paced world that is becoming more full of turmoil. Father, the people need you, but yet so many do not know you. Your people are thirsty, dying, destitute, and full of despair. Father, help the remnant rise up. Help us be courageous. Father, you called us to be separate from the world, and we are set apart. Yet it is challenging. Sometimes we still have to coexist with our workplaces and around others who may reject your light. Father, I ask you, help us in these areas. Help us to persevere and be persistent in our prayer life. We know you didn't give up on us. So please, help us to be persistent and not give up on others. Begin to soften the hearts of our unbelieving family members and our coworkers. Make a way. Prepare a path and get everything in place so we can do our part. Help us strengthen fruits of the Spirit. Let us meditate on those things that are right. We only want to show kindness, meekness, and be joyful, even in the storms that we face. Father, you are our hope. I pray that you will pour out your Spirit so we can receive gifts of the Rock HaKadosh. We want to receive the fullness of the power so that lives can be changed, souls can be saved, and your people will be encouraged. May our zeal and being humble servants never diminish. Strengthen those who are weary in doing what's right. Keep their focus on things that are good and noble. Father, you are our healer and our mighty physician. We plead the blood of our living sacrifice, Yahushua HaMashiach, and no weapon formed against shall ever prosper. Guard our mouths and our bodies so we may discern the things prosperous to eat and not to eat, when to fast and the boldness and courage to obey. Put a guard at our eyes and our ears to be careful what we subject ourselves to be exposed by. We reject sinfulness and do not want to allow our adversary any foothold. Father, we pray for healing and renewal in your people who are in pain, sick, who need deliverance, put a band of angels with them now. Begin to mend their bodies, strengthen their hearts, and put everything back into working order. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, you said in your holy word, Exodus 15.26, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments, and give all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. So, Father, continue to heal the sick, rescue the oppressed, raise the dead, and soften the hearts back to you. Bring life to dry bones. We will never stop singing. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah.